Hey everyone, it's Alicia. Welcome back to my channel and it is Sunday evening here coming up close to 11 p.m. and it's about, let me just quickly do the math, it's about 4 o'clock, 3.30 your time, approximately 3.30 your time. So you're probably all out uh, either making things or you're spending time with family and friends today. Well, I thought I'd come on with a quick uh, mini haul. I stopped en route to the sea today at my favorite art store in the desert and I did make a film of it for you. Folks, I have to be honest, my filming skills suck today. My husband's video was the best thing shot today and I'm really embarrassed to admit that but I'm just gonna tell you. I don't know what happened. I filmed the spa for you, terrible video. I might still upload it. I'm gonna ask you what you want me to do. I'm just gonna tell you this flat out. Um, before I show you this mini haul, I don't know what happened folks. I don't know if my filming just like I was so excited about the day that I lost my ability to film, but my film of both the art store and of the spa was really like mm, worse than mediocre. Okay, the art store is maybe, I went by too quickly. It's too densely stocked a store and I should have gone through slower and I went too quickly. So that was the fault with that video. And with the spa, I just, some things were out of frame. I don't know what happened. I think I was just too excited. So let me know if you'd like to see them. If you want to see them, I'll upload them. The art store tour is about 10 minutes long and the spa tour is about three minutes long. If you'd like to see them, I will post them with all their flaws because it's more important to me that you see what you want to see. So leave me a comment down below today and I will post them. If enough people, more than a handful say yes, then I will just upload them with all their ugly little pimple things all over them. Um, and just forgive me, folks. I don't know what happened. I'll be much more careful moving forward. So I did stop there, and I got some really cool, but only a few things, but I want to share them with you. So one of the things I got today was this paint. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this. I haven't. So maybe I'm not paying attention at Hobby Lobby, but it's patent leather paint. And basically what the owner told me is that it's not just shiny, it looks like it makes paper look leathery afterwards. And I thought that was super cool. So I got it in gold. I had to think really hard. Like after that gloss, like that super gloss experience from Mod Podge, I was like, okay, you're not really into the high gloss and this is high gloss. So you have to think very carefully, what are you gonna use this for and what color? And I realized one of my projects that I'm doing for Danielle could use a little gold accenting and it would be fine if it were high gloss. So I got the, what do they call this? This is like the super high gloss gold. And so I'll let you know what this looks like and I'll show you the project afterwards. Uh, I may even show you the prototype to see what you think of it. So I thought that was cool. Let me know if you've seen this before at home because I have not and I, I thought that was really interesting. So I got that and I also got, this I have seen at home, but I got the dazzling metallic silver. Not the regular silver, the kind of sparkly, oh my camera's so bad. It's like a sparkly, shimmering silver. So I got that because I needed it for my project with Danielle. So I picked that up. Well, we know I had a whole gloss problem this week, right? With that crazy high gloss Mod Podge. And she did have a satin, but um, she thought it might still be a little glossy for what I'm looking for. So she suggested this satin varnish instead, which has a little shimmer like the triple thick, but doesn't have tons. And this one can be used on more than paper. So she thought this was like a very versatile product for me. And it was inexpensive, folks, for this large, and it's large. This is eight ounces, and this was like $8. Seven, actually, it was more like $7.50. So I did get this um, because it can be used on so many different types of materiality that I thought this would come in handy while I'm here. So I got that. And let me see. Oh, yes. So before I get to the really fun stuff. So uh, Alicia from Love Letter Generation said she really liked these butterflies. So I picked some of those up. And I got some of these, of the shell ones, because they were really pretty. And I thought they would go really well with Sunny Days projects, right? Like a Sunny Day shaker. And uh, maybe I'm working on something like that for Miss Danielle. So I was like, ooh, these will work beautifully, these large shells. So I held a couple of those. Now, let me show you. Can you guess who these are for? Let's see if you can. <laughs> so the first set, these are super cool. Okay, do you hear this? These are cabochons. 
These are like two and a half inch cabochons of Winnie the Pooh Disney characters. And underneath the cabochon are, I guess it's like, you know, like a sticker, a decal of Winnie the Pooh. And they come also with these jemmies. I have never seen cabochons like this before for sale that, I, that adhere. I was wowed. So perhaps I got this person two packages of these cabochons because they were so special. And then I also got the same person these Disney stickers with Hebrew on them, which I thought were super cute. Look how cute Eeyore looks. And I got her these cute Disney stickers with the Hebrew on them. And also these adorable ones with the Hebrew also on them. Cause you know, maybe this is maybe for Dina. And I have been looking all over. I've only managed to get her a couple of packs of Disney stickers with Hebrew. Well, today, folks, I hit the Disney Hebrew jackpot. And I wanted to get the Hebrew. Well, first of all, the cabochons were so special. So I had to get those for her. But I really have been looking everywhere for Disney Hebrew stickers. And I've only found a couple. And they had so many. So I got her a whole bunch. Because I just think it's really special to get unique things like that from a different country. And I thought I might cheer Dina up. And then... Do you remember that Sabrina K, the country crafter, got Dina this week? That really cute Cinderella die, which I thought was amazing. So look what I found, guys. I found these adorable miniature Cinderella stickers. And look, Sabrina, look, there's the die you got her. It is exactly like that. Look. So I got her these to go with that die. Um, I thought she could make really cool pocket letters with these. Oh, and that die. So I got those. So that that's for Miss Dina. That's part of her. I hope you know I'm thinking about your package. And then look what they had, folks. It's called Art to Go, and it's called a Gurry Liner. And it's like that contact paper that I hauled from the dollar store, only this is glittery gold. I'm super stoked about this because, again, I need this for my project with Miss Danielle. And I was so, I did get glittery paper. You saw my husband did bring me some. How he'd managed to do that, I don't know. But I'm going to use that for some die cutting. I need this for those little books. So I was super excited to get this today. And you, if I upload the video, you'll see that they have all new crepe paper in. Now, this is how crepe paper comes here, folks. It doesn't come in the rolls like at home, like when it comes in a roll. No. It comes in these big sheets. And then you have to cut whatever size you want, which I actually like better. Because, like, if I want to make a mini rosette, then, you know, I just cut the size I want. If I want to make a jumbo rosette. So I got this, like, what they call, here they call this carousel pink. Which I thought was so fitting. Because it's going to go with the Carousel Maggie Holmes collection. So I loved this. I got this big roll. And then this, you get a lot less of, folks. Okay? This, I have never seen this before. It's not just silver, folks. It is a metallicized crepe paper. And it's silver. And it's a shimmery silver. And you don't get much in this pack. Like in this, you get tons. Look, tons. This, very little. But I have thought this was stunning. Now, it is a bit thicker. And I think this is going to be a little harder to work with. But I think this is going to make gorgeous rosettes. So I will make some and we will share them and see how they turn out. Oh, I hope this works. Because if it does, oh, they had this in gold. Oh, they had it in this gorgeous sparkly green too for the holidays. Oh, yes, folks. So I picked that up. And then um, I got this glow. And this was a little pricey. This was my one a little bit pricey indulgence today. Um, it's funny. I thought this paper would be expensive. This was, I, I almost fainted. This was less than $2. So I was wrong, folks. You can get it here, the crepe paper, inexpensively. You just have to know where to look. This, however, conversely, was expensive. This is a glow-in-the-dark dimensional paint writer. And the owner of the store says it works really well. It works on fabric. It works on paper. It works on wood. And I just thought this was amazing for my project with Kathy, my swap that we're going to be doing for Halloween. And that I could write some special secret messages maybe. Oh, I have all sorts of ideas now. And also for decorative. But this was a bit pricey. I'm going to be honest. This was like 8 bucks, And I thought that was a lot to pay for a little bottle. But I splurged on this today, folks. This was my splurge purchase. And I think that's it, folks. Oh, no, it's not. How could I forget? So it turns out, you know, I only brought a few rolls, like three or four, of my favorite thin 
ultra strong double-sided tape, right? I brought my regular everyday one and my super strong and then one extra backup roll. Well, folks, it turns out you have to ask them for it. They do have it. And what surprised me is it comes in this size. And I was so happy because, you know, when I'm making books and I'm laying down, I'm using the little pieces and sometimes I have to put three or four. Oh, no, folks, this is for bookmaking. And even though it shows up white, okay, it actually, when you pull back the white, it's clear. So this is going to be so great. Think about ephemera. Think about like laying down all sorts of paper. Look at the, how thick this is. So this is like two inches thick, folks. And look how much you get. Like this is amazing. This is really, I was super excited about this. And this was about $3 for this roll. So, and you get tons. Um, it tells me exactly how many meters. I think you get 48. It's a terrific. So I got this jumbo one to lay down ephemera. Um, to lay down all sorts of paper and she swears that it's super strong and I also got like a medium one and a thin one. Now the thin one, are you ready for this? The thin one was a dollar. Why did I bring it with me? I just didn't know. So that was a great, that was a great find folks. I am thrilled. So a very small haul but a really great one and let me know if you'd like to see the video of the art store. I went too quickly folks. You do get to see at least the scope of what they have, including doll hair. Isn't that crazy? All different kinds of doll hair. Because this store, you can make anything if you're at this store. I just was, didn't have my, my filming mojo was not there. So I, just forgive me. That one is not so bad. It's the inside of the spa. I just did a lousy job, folks. But it does give you a glimpse of all the different pools and the treatments that are available. So just let me know. If you want to see it, I'll upload it. Again, the art store one is about 10 minutes. The spa one's about three minutes. And that is all. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I had a terrific day with my husband. I feel like I was very blessed today. I hope each of you were very like blessed today and loved and spent time with family and friends or you spent time making. And uh, Dina, again, I'm thinking about you. Clearly, I'm thinking about you. Because, girlfriend, I hooked you up with some Hebrew Disney. Um, super excited that I found this today. Super excited. And that is all. Tomorrow I'm going to be doing some uh, more making and some, maybe some project sharing with you. And I've set aside all day Tuesday to work on my swap with Danielle. So I should be doing lots of project sharing this week, folks. And that's it for now. Thanks so much again. And as always, I appreciate all of your feedback and comments. Let me know what you thought of the goats. I was so excited that that almost never happens. So I was so excited that it happened and I could film it for you. And what you thought of the Dead Sea. You know, it took a little bit of bravery to be out there in my bathing suit. I have to be honest. Um, but, you know, all of you have inspired me to just put that crap aside and just go do this. And it was more important to me to show you the Dead Sea, actually. But there was like this moment of nervousness. Like, I am standing in front of people in my bathing suit. And wow. But that's okay. Um, my husband was great and he actually was like happy to film that for me, for us. So he has definitely come on side, folks. Uh, how lucky am I? How lucky am I? Thank you to each of you. I, I appreciate each and every one of you. I am going to be reading all of your comments, so please leave them below. Let me know if you want those videos and I will upload them. And let me know what you thought of today. And that is it, folks. As always, have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day and know that I'm grateful for you. Bye for now.